What's going on, YouTube? Kyle Ken coming at you with another LP. Uh, it's gonna be Let's Play Mega Man 8 because, um. Well, I always liked this game as a kid. It was one of my uh, first PlayStation games, I believe. No, it wasn't really my first one, but it was one of the uh, first Mega Man games I ever received as a kid. I got it for one of my birthdays when I believe it was in the fourth grade. It doesn't matter right now. Anyway, uh, let's get started real quick, and obviously there's gonna be a cutscene, so I'll shut up for a little while. Run away, coward. You'll pay for this insult. I'll be back. Dr. Light, what is the problem? A strange meteor has fallen to Earth just a while ago. This meteor seems to be emitting a powerful energy signature. Something this powerful must not fall into the hands of evil. I understand, Dr. Light. I'm on it. Thank you, Mega Man. If you can, please bring the meteor back. Okay. All right. Anyway, uh, that cutscene was kind of long and drawn out, along with the um, intro cutscene. But uh, yeah. So I uh, usually Mega Man controls D-pads, move left, right, you know, so whatever. Uh, triangle and square both fire the Mega Buster. Um, but triangle, I believe, or is it square? No, square edge fires a special weapon once you have one, we don't have any yet, and as you can see I'm glowing because I'm hitting LRR, it's just special weapons, and uh, circle and X are the jump buttons, if you press down and the jump button you can slide, you can also charge up your Mega Buster. Anyway, let's get into this, so, um, it's not out of LP this game, because uh, like I said, this game is, uh, is, uh, you know, one of my favorite games, uh, I played this a lot as a kid, and uh, there's actually, it actually wasn't this easy as a game, <laughs> as a kid, um, or maybe I just sucked at games as a kid, but uh, there's just one level which pisses me off, oh, alright, yes this happens. <laughs> Mega Man, can you hear me? I've searched the island, but I can't find it on any map. It's a creepy island. Be careful, Mega Man. Your new weapon is ready. Take it with you. It's called the Mega Ball. You can kick it to attack the enemies. It's a powerful weapon. Thank you, Dr. Light! Anyway, we get the Mega Ball here. Uh, if we press square again, we can kick it. And what we actually do is we can jump on top of it and hold the jump button. Because 
think if you just jump on top of it, it don't hold the jump button, you don't get the jump off of it. But uh, as you can see, I get a um, higher jump, and uh, it's do like that. You can kick enemies, or kick it into enemies. And as you can see right here, we uh, have a switch, and if we uh, hit the enemy onto the switch, we can go into a, a little elevator, a wildly shaped elevator, and uh, we can go in the water in here. And when I was younger, I didn't actually know that you could swim uh, immediately. I think I was down here for like a good like five minutes at least, not knowing you could swim as I, I just went like this. So for some reason, I just tried, uh, oh yeah, I was over here, I just didn't know what to do, so I just uh, tried tapping X, and uh, yeah, it turns out you can swim. So first thing we want to do is, uh, not first thing, but before we leave, we're going to come over here and grab this bolt. And uh, bolts are pretty much used to uh, purchase powers in this game. Now from what I'm aware, there's a limited number of bolts in this game, so you have to pick and choose your power-ups. Which, you know, is eh. But I mean, I guess it's kind of an older game, you don't really need all the power-ups anyway. You don't need any power-ups. Well, there's one that I highly recommend, but we'll get to that in the press of when we get there. Die. Uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna charge up a little bit. That damn it. This always happened to me. I always wait till I get too high on this, trying to jump, but I'm not able to. And I jump across here, and we get yet another bolt, which is very nice. Because again, there's a limited number of bolts in this game. And uh, yeah. Uh, it's a pretty fun game though, uh, I like it. I think this is the only uh, Mega Man game I've played out of the regular number series. Uh, this, I think I played, I played this Mega Man 9. Uh, actually, I played some of the earlier ones, but not really too extensively. You know, got some weapon energy there. Uh, break that. This is the full weapon energy. And for these guys, actually what you want to do is, um, you want to destroy their head, because if you don't, uh, just right here, they will, uh, come through and, uh, try to attack you with their head. So, it's gonna continue on. We run into the first boss here. Uh, now, we actually have his weakness right now in the Mega Ball, it's one of his weaknesses. There's also, like, two other weapons you can use to defeat this guy effectively, but, um, since we started with the Mega Ball, that's gonna be your best bet. Now, you just wanna kick it, and just gonna kick it inside his shell. Uh, alternatively, you can charge up the Mega Buster, and, uh, break the shell that way, but it's a lot less effective than using the Mega Ball, as you can see. And as you can see now, he's, he's, uh, he's already dead, so that was relatively quick, so that's what happened to me. I have a boss's weakness, obviously, if you played any other Mega Man game. Um, you know, you know what happened to have a boss's weakness. Yeah. Over, Wiley. Dr. Wily? Why are you here? Yeah. Mega Man, so you've come. How did you find my secret base? I'm impressed. But you're too late. I just found something that's more powerful than this base. Ha 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 ha! Now the world is mine! Well, the world is his and he got us good, I guess. <sighs> Wait, Wily! Sorry, it's kind of like 4 a.m. when I'm recording this. <laughs> I've got to go after him. Uh, you know, like it is my record, like any other video. What's this? A robot? Still alive. I must help him. Man, Mega Man, can you hear me? Is anything going on? Yes, Doctor. I found a robot. What? Okay, I understand. I'll go there and pick it up. Oh. You go after Wily. Continue on with that sentence. He didn't. Okay, I'm trying to give these characters voices, but I might forget uh, which voices I give to what character. And I'm, I'm actually going to say it. Alright, so I'm just going to say it'll save over slot one. I actually tried recording this previously, but the recording had an uh, audio problem, so I'm recording it again. As you can see, I had uh, four weapons that time, so I got quite a bit further than I did with this one. Not really. Only, only help these two, but yeah. Anyway, uh, real quick, uh, we have Dr. Life's lab over here, where well, we can purchase power-ups and uh, save and go to the options menu. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the options menu, I mean, as for a part, and uh, there's nothing we can buy at the moment. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the, like, the most important power-up you can get in the entire game. Uh, 
like it says, you won't be pushed back when you receive a hit, and you won't see how useful that is until possibly after I go to the next level. Um, after that, I don't really know what I'm gonna get. Uh, maybe one of these. I usually end up getting both of these at some point, and uh, the exit. Because I don't really see this, anything else is really that, uh, that efficient, so, yeah. And, uh, the exit now. And uh, since this is the first game in the Mega Man, in the numbered Mega Man series, so first let's go over here. Take on Tengu Man. Uh, yeah, I wasn't entirely sure of what, um, why it was that different, because the first Mega Man game I had ever played, um, well, I played Mega Man X, I played Mega Man Battle Network 2, and then I played this game. I think I played Battle Network 2, then this game, and then X. The first Mega Man X on the NES, I believe. Because I went out and I would go to my uncle's house during the summer uh, in North Carolina for you know, family visits or whatever. He would have that, and you know I would play because why not? It's Mega Man. I like playing Mega Man. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take out all these guys, all these little uh, Metars, because this next part, uh, they can kill you since we don't have the part yet. Ah, nice. Um, yeah, like, we don't have the power shield yet, so if they hit you while you're trying to jump on the platform, you'll more than likely, uh, get pushed back and fall off. So, in this part, we have a bubble segment, and we can't let the bubble pop. So, you want to hug the wall for that segment, and then, uh, head over here after the second or third, uh, spike. Anyway, like I was saying, I played Mega Man X at my, uh, my uncle's house, and, uh, yeah. And I was just like, kind of confused, because I was like, I, I was I used to playing Battle Network 2, so I was like, wait a minute, bro, like, these aren't net navvies, like, these, uh, like, you know, what's going on? Obviously, I realized that, that I just died, because I tried to go for it and then went back, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, it took me a little while to realize it's a different series, um, because I had actually got this game from a friend of mine in fourth grade, who, moved away after the 4th grade, so I never really saw him ever again, but <laughs> not, not like anyone cares about that, um, but I did really appreciate uh, him getting me this game because this, this uh, put me on the Mega Man uh, a little bit more, and uh, this game is really, I really like this game when I was younger, except for that one level that I'm speaking of, and for those of you that have played this game before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, and you'll have fun once I get to that stage, and oh no, that's what I wanted to get! I don't want to get this. This isn't beat. I don't remember this guy's name. But as you can see for this segment, we'll get the ride brush, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, you know, as a kid. So, um, as you saw that party ball again, they gave us power-ups, and he fires whenever we fire a shot, or if we're shot in a shot, he'll continuously drop bombs. Now, this is my least favorite, uh, honestly, of the four, I think we can get. Uh, simply because he has the shortest range. Um, I like to get the rush one, because, I don't know, I just like to get the rush power up. I guess because it's uh, kind of a spread shot kind of thing. And usually, I try to get the the robot, then beat, then rush, rush his power up, and that's it for the first segment of this level. Most levels have two segments, actually I think all levels have two segments, except for the introduction level, um, the final stage, and the, uh, and the second uh, introduction like, level that we're going to later, but, you know, uh, once again, another bridge walk across once we get there, for now, we can just uh, control rush like this, and sadly, this is the only, only level in the game where we can actually, uh, you know, use the rush jet, ah, oh, that's what it's called, rush jet, but I'm pretty sure you can use it in other Mega Man games, um, the number series at least, as, because uh, you get it as like a power-up kind of thing, along with rush coil and, uh, I think this might be the only game where you get the Rush Motorcycle, though. So that might be why that we don't get the, uh... Might be why we don't get the Rush... Uh, Rush Jet. Or any other, anything else. But you're right there, so I got the bird. I'm pretty sure this bird's name is B. Uh, I think. What he does is he uses Takedown when you fire Charge Shot. That's literally all he does, though. I think if he comes in contact with an enemy, like, they blow up or something. But, yeah. I think there's also a bolt up here that I don't know how to get. I might have to come back with an Astro Crush. But, um... Yeah. Okay, so, apparently... Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out all these. And that boss's weakness is actually the Mega Ball. So, what you wanna do is... Like, do one of these. 
like these mini boss like characters are oh, really aren't that hard for the most part. Uh, some of them that can give you trouble, but not really. Uh, you should be fine if you play around them correctly. And uh, like I said, this game isn't really all that hard, but there's this one stage that um, is just really difficult. Actually, I told uh, one of my friends I was going to LP this game, and he's like, yo, do that stage first. I'm like, nah, I'm not about it. <laughs> not about raging the first episode. But uh, yeah, anyway, for this next bubble segment, you want to go like this. I think actually you want to hug the wall. No, no, not, not hug the wall. All right. Well, you want to go towards the right at least. Um, not like I did, because my bubble popped. But, uh, like this, I think. It should be like this. And then you want to head back to the left. Uh, right about now. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Right now. You want to head back to the left. Just be careful and don't do what I did. <laughs> uh, this is looking bad for me right now. I might actually have to use a continue on the first level of the game. Or, or I guess second. But I don't really count the introductory stage as Because I know I'm going to die at the next part because I always mess up and uh, mess up one of my jumps and end up dying because I try to get a bolt because I get kind of greedy. But, you know, the greed is real sometimes. Sometimes, you know, you got to try to get to plus six when only plus two is needed and uh, try to sweep. So the greed's real. Alright, it's going to look like that. Alright. So, I don't think it's right here. I think it's the next, uh, yeah, no, it's definitely the next segment, and, uh, after I played Mega Man X4, which was, um, I really liked that game, honestly, like, after that game, like, I just, you no, know, alright, no, it's right here, alright, 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 I got this, I got this, alright, I thought, uh, that flying thing up there, I always thought that looked like Sigma after I played Mega Man X4, and right here is usually where I die, because I'm just paranoid that I'll never make this jump, um, and I expect, like, a platform to come out of nowhere, but it usually doesn't. But you actually can make this jump. I'm just gonna... Yo, whoa! Oh, there we go. Oh, not bad. Alright, so it should be good for the rest of this level, I think. Yeah, because we should be up with the boss. Right about now. Well, not right about now. Like, I don't know, like, two more screens? Four more screens. Alright. This isn't helpful, unfortunately. So, as you may have guessed, um, Tengu Man is, you know, a Tengu, so that would imply flying and wind. So we have a wind-based boss battle, which really sucks, because this guy actually kills me quite often, and we don't have his weakness just yet. Are you worthy of my challenge? I don't think I am Tengu Man. I'm, I'm Dawi. Really. But, uh, yeah. For right now, the Mega Buster's your best weapon against him, unless you go do the, uh, the level of death first. No, 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 no! Alright, oh, I should probably explain this guy's attacks. He has three. Uh, Yellow Halassi, I think, is his most dangerous attack. Here you go. Um, because it doesn't really do any damage, but it carries you off to the side. And as Here you can you see, um, there's no, uh. This is. What's that word? This arena is, uh, floating? That's not the word I'm looking for. Um, I don't know the word I'm looking for. There's cliffs on the side, alright? That's. That's what I'm trying to say. And that will just carry you right over the cliff, and you just happen to die! So that's where it releases you. Um, oh, I'm actually doing not bad. Oh, alright. As long as you stay near the middle, though, the Alhalasi isn't really that much of a threat. I think I'm saying it right. Not entirely sure. But, um, now we beat Tengu Man, so we get our first, or I guess our second special weapon of the game. Yeah, it's gonna be Tornado Hold. Um,. Obviously, like, what just happened? Did my ROM just crash? No, am I gonna do all that again? I think I am. This is upsetting. Alright, so, uh, I guess I'll be right back and just show you what happened after you beat a boss. So, yeah, I'll be right back momentarily. Okay, so, I beat Tango Man again. Didn't take that long, probably because I didn't have to commentate over everything. Anyway, something I was going to say about Tango Man was that he actually makes a are you fucking kidding me? This happened again. <sighs> Alright, be right back once again. Okay, so... I probably shouldn't have been using um, a ROM for this, because I have an actual disc, but... 
now the disc is kind of lagging. Anyway, so I'm using my disc now, so hopefully I won't crash anymore. Anyway, I was trying to say before, like three times, that Tango Man makes another appearance in Mega Man Battle Network 6. Um, not like some of the other characters in this game, they make uh, appearances in other games, which you'll see later uh, once I get up to them. Um, some bosses, uh, you know, make some appearances in, in the Battle Network series, which is probably like one of my favorite series. Is anyway, um, I covered about two levels on this video. I think that's all I'll do per video. I want, really wanted to do, uh, I really wanted to get at least two bosses done per video, the two main bosses at least, but. I don't think uh, I'll be able to do that since I'm about 22 minutes right now. And I'm not even sure if people will actually care about watching this, but regardless of people care about watching this or not, I'm probably going to end up playing it regardless. So I figured I might as well record it. And uh, I still haven't forgotten about Digimon World 2. I just have to uh, do a little bit of grinding. I actually recorded, um, when, I was, when I was having audio problems with this, I was working on some World 2 parts. And uh, I'll just get into that more in detail when I, you know, when I uh, record that. You know, that'll be for a different day. Anyway, I'm gonna buy the shield protector, or power shield, pretty much like the super armor from Battle Network uh, series. Friends, you're gonna push back when you get a hit. So I won't get pushed off any cliffs anymore, and uh, I've used six of my bolts, and I believe there's six, twelve, eighteen, twenty. I think there's about twenty-eight bolts in this game total that you can actually get. I'm not entirely sure on that, but. I believe that's how many there are in the game to, that you can actually acquire. So, with that, um, I do believe I'll end off this episode now, because uh, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, do too much, get too much, uh, get too many things started in one video. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, next time we'll be taking on Clown Man. So, as usual, you guys know the deal. Like, I'm subscribe, and like, good jazz, Cal. Can I catch you next time? Later.